Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and I'm here with a new friend I just met this week, Manny. Hello Manny. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> Manny is actually a cantor in a synagogue and he owns a brand new uh, Hyundai Kona. He has one of two in New Jersey. We're going to get to his Kona in a minute, do a video about it. But I let him drive on my Tesla Model 3. I don't think he ever drove so many. What's your reaction so far? Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. Planted to the road. Um, incredible. Swift. Brisk. Yes. How is it compared to the Kona, which you own for two days only? <laughs> well, I love the Kona, but this is much uh, sportier. F much sportier feel because it's uh, lower and uh, because it's a uh, uh, rear drive. Drive. All right, so we're gonna we're driving around town here just to see how it feels. How's the acceleration? Incredible, and the regenerative is great too. I can feel it yes. now. Very much. Vi uh, visibility, the front, huge because I don't have the cluster in the mm -hmm. front. Mm -hmm. Everything is open. I can see all the way to incredible. Mm -hmm. All right, that's great. So we are driving around town, and then we're gonna go to Manny's Kona. And then we'll see how it is and we'll compare them see uh, if which one has uh, advantages over the other and how they both compare so stay tuned don't nobody go nowhere next time we're gonna see you in the corner we'll be right back in the corner in the corner nice. he's a very lucky guy he has the brand new 2019 Hyundai Kona all electric uh, many nice to meet yeah, you nice to meet and you. tell and me all the audience at all. <laughs> so tell me how did you get to have this car nobody nobody can have it right so I went on the, on the uh, Hyundai uh, forum in and they were all looking at cars especially in California with marks up markups and difficulties to find cars but then I went to car gurus and I saw that there is a car here in New Jersey. Two cars in uh, one lot. So I called. They say we have it. And I went and they had it. I was surprised, but I was lucky. They didn't even know how fortunate they are that they have this car mm -hmm. when nobody else in the country has it, almost. How, how knowledgeable were the salespeople? Oh, the, the knowledge level is amazingly low. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but that's okay. We we know we don't need them, right? right. And the buying experience was great. Very good. Good, yes, excellent. Very nice. And but they are n nicest people. Nicest people. Okay, so enough with the talking. Now let's talk a little bit about the car. Like I said in many of my videos, this segment, this niche, is one of the most popular niches in America. And if Kona will make them, they will sell them. That's the idea. To have them is one thing. If they'll make them, they'll sell them. And it is a beautiful CUV, uh, compact utility vehicle uh, it has uh, it really is a beautiful front uh nice cargo uh like two levels the uh i would say it's about what seven inches maybe seven inches front mm -hmm. uh the instrument cluster is very high very interesting these two levels here of the um dash and the uh compartments and the glove compartment which is nice not too big not too small um so tell me you've been driving this car for two days what's your impression so far yeah i did 200 miles approximately it's a game changer Really? As uh, you said before, after driving an electric car, you don't want to go to regular cars. <laughs> Ever. Uh, uh, yeah. On e every level, it's... <laughs> It's it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. And so uh, let's talk a little bit about the specs. This is a 64 kilowatt hour battery, right? Yes, and uh, I don't remember exactly, but I think it's 290 or 289 or 295 uh, 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 torque, mm -hmm. pound feet of torque, and 201 horsepower. Mm -hmm. which, In range, uh, which feels much uh, more than actually it is. Uh, the range is 200, I think 250 miles. 250 miles, yes. On a so, nice day. On a nice uh, day on a flat road. In California on a flat road. Here in the winter you'll probably get uh, maybe 200 miles, 200. which is, yeah. f what's your daily commute? Yeah, hey, normally 30, 40 miles. And by the way, I'm charging it for the past few days with the supplied uh, charger, which gives you like 60, 60 hours for full charge. 
And I'm fine, you know, you put it at night for ten, uh, nine hours because you are this and it, you get 50 miles. Which is miles. what you drive every day. Which is what I drive. So I'm, uh, I got it full. I have four days, uh, three days the car and uh, I am at, uh, what's the battery level here? It shows, uh, I have another tw- 229 miles. I ah, know, I did 220 miles. Yes. 170 miles. 170 miles on the cluster. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. So this is a great... I call it enhanced commuter. It's a commuter, but you can really go out of range. No big deal. You can and and in very enjoyable commuter. Enjoyable. Commuter. The question is, how do you want to commute mm-hmm. your commute? Exactly. Okay. And this is very very joyful. And I drive a Fiat 124 Spider Abarth. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's, that's a sporty car, mm-hmm. and uh, I really like this one. Wonderful. So. I have to tell you, the seating is very nice. The car, it's all leather. It's very, very cushy. My baby, I hold on, let me see. I'm 6'2". My baby test, I would say half a baby. I can put on my head. <laughs> How is it in the Tesla? High Tesla, high car? because of the glass window. Ah, because it's all glass. You don't ah, have this so bump here. You don't have the bump. It's all beautiful. All right. He drove my Tesla before. We have a video about that. The back, it looks like a very nice, uh, comfortable four-seaters, but you can put a person in the middle. So it's, yeah. it's really nice. I mean, these cars are awesome. So we are going to switch. I'm going to drive, mm-hmm. and I'm going to tell you what I think about the driving experience. So we will be right back with the driving. Okay, guys, we are now driving the Kona. Uh, we put it on sports mode. I like the gear. It's just uh, those buttons. I forgot how it's called. It's, it's just uh, those buttons. Nice. I liked it yes. more than the Tesla. Yes. The you buttons. you just press the buttons and that's all. Uh, I can tell you on sports mode, the off-the-line acceleration is nice. But once you get going, let me try it. Nice. Did you feel the torque? Yes, yes. That's because it's front wheel. Yes, it is a front wheel as opposed to the Tesla, which is rear wheel. So nice. A little, a little whistle, tiny bit whistle. Not as much as I used to have in my uh, Nissan Leaf, but it's nice. Listen, it has the lane correction. It has the um, collision warning and collision avoidance. I am telling you, it is a beautiful car. Now. It is tall, people love it, it's, it's tall, you above the road, it's not like uh, uh, the Model 3 when you really, really sit low and you can really be connected to the, um, to the uh, ground, to the road. Visibility is nice, mirrors, you know, the uh, rear, wheel, rear uh, mirror here inside, it's very, very nice. Uh, the wheel feels great, it's really an awesome car. I really like it. I am telling you, this could be my next car when I when I will need it. Um, the range, uh, like like many said, 250 miles. You know, in the winter you can get easy two to twenty. Uh, summer you're probably going to get close to three hundred in these summers. Um, you know, you get significantly more in the summer, significant more. So this is an awesome, awesome car. I li- the charge port is in the front, just like the Nissan Leaf. You have the regular, uh, you know, the regular level two chargers, a charge port, and you have the CCS for the fast charging. There are many of them around, but I can tell you that I really like it. What do you think, Manny? I I like it a lot. It's a very different experience uh, driving this versus the Tesla. The Tesla is feels uh, sportier. As, uh, not only because of the it has a, a, a better acceleration, uh, but because you're planted more, you're lower, and you are less on top. This is more of an SUV feel for people who like SUV feel. Now, under under my left um, hand, there are there are pedals: level one, level two, level yep. three, uh, regen. I mean, level one is nice. Level two is aggressive, and level three is really aggressive. I'm, I'm, on I'm, the downhill, it's what yes. You want. Right now, I mean, if you set it to to level three, you, it really become a one pedal driving, right? Which is very Actually, nice. On a stop and go, it's good. Stopping, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. On the highway, I go on level one. Mm-hmm. On regular road two, and if I'm really on a stop and go or st- uh, very steep hill right here, then I uh, then I go with the level three. Level three. So. Uh, I made a video, I didn't release it yet, about with my Chevy Volt, which has 60,000 miles on it already. And I want to tell you that I did not never, I did not change the brake paddles at all, and they're going to last forever. 
uh, that's one of the greatest advantages of electric cars your brakes will last for a long time it's it's, long. A, it's it's a it's a it's a huge huge advantage advantage when you don't need to press the and if you want to not use it at all when you get near the traffic light you you pull the lever on the left mm -hmm. a little bit longer mm -hmm. and then it stops it like in the bicycle that Bikes we had the yes. handbrake yes 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 it has a handbrake yes okay Manny thank you so much yeah. for letting me drive this car uh, as a token of appreciation I'm gonna give you a brand new uh, mug the electric Israeli mug that you can find on my electric Israeli store you can get a shirt as well I'm wearing one right now uh, or sweatshirt or mugs or water bottle whatever so this is for you thank you, thank you for finding me and inviting me and we will do this again thank you guys Definitely. meanwhile don't forget to subscribe to my channel help me change the world one electric car at a time and please consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron and i'll see you tomorrow with another video